Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn everything about track mats in After Effects. So let's start. So here, there is a background with liquid animation. On top of it is a text layer and below it is a background. Now I'm going to provide this After Effects file. You can collect it from link in the description and follow along with the lesson. So here are the track mat options and if you don't find it over here, go come down over here and simply turn on this transfer control span. Simply highlight it and it is going to pop up like this or else you can right click over here, go to columns and just tick modes and it is going to pop up somewhere around here. So to apply track mats, we need at least two layers. Now we have to apply track mat on the layer below. So for example, in this text layer, you cannot see anything to select here in track mat, but here in this liquid layer, you can select various options from track mat. Now if we click and drag it below, you can see the same thing here. We can select options from track mat, but the layer above doesn't have any options. Okay, let's undo it. Now, there are various types of mats in After Effects. The first one is the alpha mat. The second one is alpha inverted mat, then luma mat and luma inverted mat. Let's check out one by one. So let's click on alpha mat. Now, what it exactly have done is it has basically taken the alpha channel information of this text, which is the layer above and applied it on this liquid layer as a mat. So only the region that is available for this text is only visible for this layer below. If we play it, we can see it in a better way. You can see the so animation is still on, but only the region inside the text is visible. Now you can see one more thing is that the visibility has turned off. If we turn on the visibility, there isn't any mat anymore. And if we turn off, we can see this over here. Now let's check out the next one, the alpha inverted mat. So what exactly it does is it basically cancel out the region inside the text layer or the layer that is above. We can see it clearly by just simply turning off the background. You can see if we turn on the transparency, it is more visible. The area that is inside the text is not visible right now. So that is what the alpha inverted does. It exactly is the opposite of alpha mat. Okay, now let's check out the next one. So the next one is a luma mat. So it means luminance. So it basically takes the brightness value of the top layer. In this case, this text layer and wherever there is the brighter portion of the layer, it is going to have the maximum opacity and the darker portion is going to have the lower opacity for this. We are going to understand it properly if we change the color of this text. So let's change the fill color to absolutely black and the stroke color to absolutely white. Now you can see that the stroke is completely visible and the fill is not visible at all. So what it means is that the white color is the brightest, so it is completely visible and the black color is the darkest, so it is completely invisible. If we play it, we can see it. So now if we just vary the colors, let's select some in between colors and you can see some in between results about the opacity of the layer like this. It is basically taking the brightness values. For example, this red is darker. So the opacity is slightly on the lighter side. Now let's check out the next one. The next one is the alpha inverted. It basically inverts the thing. So it basically takes the value of the brightness and completely make it invisible like this. The luma mat and the luma inverted mat is mainly used for applying textures 
in After Effects or your on your animation. So that is all about the track mats in After Effects. Now, here are a few examples of track mats in After Effects. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubts regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.